Hundreds of mourners gathered in Springfield Park next to Walter Hay Children's Hospital to release balloons in memory of terminally ill toddler Alfie Evans. Supporters from far and wide traveled to the Liverpool Hospital where Alfie was a patient. Trees, candles, cards and flowers have been left at the hospital, where his parents kept a bedside vigil for the toddler as he began breathing on his own after his life support was withdrawn on Monday night. One card left on flowers laid outside the hospital read, We fell in love with a little boy we never knew, Alfie will be forever engraved in our heart. Fly high little man, another said, Alfie you stole the heart of the world, rip Alfie, we love you and will always fight for you forever in our hearts, more than 1,000 people gathered to release balloons in the park. Alfie's parents Tom Evans and Kate James did not attend. Mr. Evans's sister Sarah told the crowd, I just want to thank you all for coming today. Our gorgeous little warrior took his last breath at 2.30 this morning, our hearts are broken. We are absolutely shattered as a family. Thomas just wants to thank you all for the support you've all shown. There's only one Alfie Evans, PA, Getty Alfie Evans. Thousands of people have paid tribute to Alfie Evans. Pope Francis led tributes to Alfie, saying, I am deeply moved by the death of little Alfie. Today I pray especially for his parents, as God the Father receives him in his tender embrace, Alfie's parents announced their son had passed away over Facebook. They told the 810,000 members of the Alfie's Army group, our baby boy grew his wings tonight at 2.30 a.m. We are heartbroken. Thank you everyone for all your support, the toddler's name trended on social media as Britain woke up to news he had died. Chef James Martin said simply, rip Alfie Evans, Frank Bruno said, rip Alfie Evans. Heartbreaking news to hear this morning, my thoughts. God rest his soul, Piers Morgan said, Rip Alfie Evans. My deepest condolences to his parents, who fought so hard for their brave little boy, and thousands paid tribute on Alfie's supporters page, Alfie's Army, with tributes flooding the Facebook group. Paul Hay Hospital withdrew Alfie's life support on Monday night Leah Taylor said, This has broke my heart waking to this, he was a true warrior and he gave it his all. I'm so sorry for your loss Kate and Tom and beautiful little man, you fly high, Pope Francis also paid tribute on Twitter to the toddler. He said on Twitter, I am deeply moved by the death of little Alfie. Today I pray especially for his parents, as God the Father receives him in his tender embrace, Alder Hay has asked people to leave tributes to Alfie in Springfield Park, next to the hospital. A statement from the hospital said, We feel sure people will wish to place tributes to Alfie along with messages of support for Kate and Tom, to ensure there is sufficient space for these and to ensure the safety of all those who wish to visit. We have secured a suitable place in Springfield Park situated next to Walder Hay Hospital. This is on the advice of Merseyside Police. People will be available to direct you to that space throughout the weekend. Facebook tributes to Alfie Evans posted on Facebook at Olive Oil 60 said, Huge condolences to the heartbroken parents of. Also huge respect and thanks for for the professionalism and care of staff at. Rip Little Man, in a statement, Alder Hay Children's Hospital said, We wish to express our heartfelt sympathy and condolences to S. Family at this extremely distressing time. All of us feel deeply for Alfie, Kate, Tom and his whole family and our thoughts are with them. This has been a devastating journey for them and we would ask that their privacy and the privacy of staff at Alder Hay is respected. Pam Orners flocked to Alder Hay Children's Hospital to leave flowers after learning of Alfie's death. Mr. Evans, 21 and Ms. James, 20, had fought to take their son to a foreign hospital for treatment treatment for a degenerative medical condition, but lost a final court appeal on Wednesday. Doctors removed Alfie's life support following a high court judge's ruling on Monday, however, he continued to breathe by himself. His parents said that the youngster had defied doctors' expectations as they took their case to the court of appeal, but their last-ditch application to take him abroad was ultimately rejected. The case has provoked strong feelings over whether judges, doctors or parents have the right to decide on a child's life. Alfie's parents have been backed by Pope Francis and Poland's President Andre Duda. Patetis and flowers were left at the hospital after the tot died this morning. Pa hundreds turned up to release purple balloons. The attention and emotion garnered by Alfie's plight and his parents' determined public campaign to get the treatment they believed he needed led to tensions between supporters and staff at Alder Hay. After accepting that their options had been exhausted, Alfie's parents sought to build bridges with medical staff and pledged to work alongside doctors to give him the dignity and comfort he needed. Mr. Evans said, We thank Alder Hay staff at every level for their dignity and professionalism during what must be an incredibly difficult time for them too. Together we recognize the strains that recent events have put upon us all and we now wish for privacy for everyone concerned.